What's up, old friends? Welcome to another philosophical moment. And gosh, I am full of philosophical moments now, huh? There's really nothing going on, and I'd just like to talk to you guys about um, maybe some of the things that I can try to explain to you from other videos about economics and some of what I believe and maybe what you will come to find out if you don't already believe what I believe. And it's not that I have a belief that you have to follow. It's, it's really an acceptance to what life is. And uh, it's really sad, but <laughs> life's not fair. And I remember when I was working at this gas station uh, the owner was looking over my shoulder and making sure I was doing all the transactions right. And we were supposed to give out a piece of licorice to each of these kids that are just getting out of school. And to promote the business, we give them a piece of licorice with every purchase. If you're a kid, you know, from the school across the street. And uh, I gave one kid two licorices and I gave another kid one licorice. And the boss didn't really appreciate it. You know, he was looking over my shoulder. Maybe I did that because <clears throat> he was looking over my shoulder. I don't know. I just felt like it, you know. And then when we were done with all of our school transaction rush, he said, why would you do that? Why would you give that one kid that? You know, he was kind of upset about it. And I said, because life's not fair. <laughs> yeah, he says, oh, man. You know what? I really can't fight with you on that one. <laughs> and he had to deal with it, you know, and he accepted it as, as, you know, an acceptance because life's not fair. He's stealing my overtime anyways and whatnot. So you don't have to worry about if life is fair for anybody. It's not. Okay. He didn't care about m me making overtime. I didn't care if the other kid ate another piece of licorice. He probably just shouldn't eat licorice at all. I don't really care about too much, but um, that's the thing. Life isn't fair. So if you're adding up your life in a monetary transaction and it doesn't add up, I'm sorry that your life isn't fair either. <laughs> and once again, I don't care. And uh, that's because you need to become your own acceptance, okay? If your life is upside down, so is mine, so is everybody's, and uh, you come you come to acceptances, uh, grievances, shortcomings. Uh, life is very disappointing, but it's also your own fault, and you don't know why it's your own fault until later on, but it is, it's all your fault. You went along with it, you know, you went along with all of the things that people told you to do and you did all of the things that, that you thought would be uh, right and you ended up in someone else's transaction and it's a shortcoming, you know, maybe you did, did a lot of hard work but you don't own a house or maybe, you know, you owned a house but you lost your house <laughs> or... You have a house, but now you don't have a job, and you're just sitting in your house with no money. <laughs> yeah, I'm laughing about it, but it's ha it's every single one of you, and it's me too. So I don't care, you know. Deal with it, you know. I'm sorry to be the one that has to bear the news here, <laughs> but nobody owes you anything, and that's the hardest part that you're gonna have to fight. Deal with being a predator. You're a human. Okay, your eyes are positioned in front of your head because you're gauging the distance between your prey. You're a predator, all right? Rawr. Go there and get your money, man. 